Section C start from your page number 151 and the exercise question starts from the second question. The fitted regression line of y on x is y cap is equal to 23.2 minus 1.2x and one of the observation used in the fitting of the line is 6 and 17. Hope you remember which we have already solved in the illustration. 6 will be the observation of x and 17 will be the observation of y. Find the error in the estimated y for x is equal to 6. So here first take the regression line which has been given in the question and in this we can fit the value of x 6. So here 23.2 minus 1.2 x value will change into 6. Therefore 23.2 minus 1.2 multiplied by 6 it would be 7.2 and the answer is 16 and also asked to find out error error is equal to y minus y cap the value of y which is given in the question is 17 out of the observation and the y cap just now we found 16 so here we found error of 1 next third question if x bar is equal to 30 y bar is equal to 20 and b is equal to 0.6 Find the intercept of the regression line of y on x and write the equation of the line. So here they are asked to find out the regression line y on x. Here is the formula y cap is equal to a plus bx. So out of this information we can see that we don't have the value of a. b is already given but the value of a is not given. So first we will keep the formula of a to find out the value of a that is y bar minus b x bar. In the information the value of y bar and x bar is given so y bar b is equal to 0 0.6 and x bar is 30 20 minus 0 0.6 into 30 here we found 18 20 minus 18 the value of a is 2 so here in the regression line keep the value of a that is 2 b is 0 0.6 x that's what the regression line we found next fourth question is theory moving to the fifth if b is equal to 1.5 r is equal to 0 0.8 and standard deviation of x is 1.6 find standard deviation of y by looking at this formula information here we can say this is the one of the formula which will go out of this information given in the question where we can see the value of b, r and standard deviation of x is given. First we will write down the formula b is equal to r into sy upon sx. b is 1.5, r is 0 0.8, sy which is not given and that's what has been asked to be fine and standard deviation x is 1 point out of this equation get it card 1 za 2 za here we got sy upon 2 therefore sy is equal to 1.5 if we take it at the top it would be 2 upon 1 here the answer is 3 sixth question if the regression coefficient of regression line y on x is 0 0.6 here regression coefficient means b that is 0 0.6 and the standard deviation x and y is 5 and 3 that is s x is 5 and s y is 3 find coefficient of determination now to find out this question again here again we'll check with the formula where we can first find out where the b s x and s y is coming all together this is again same formula which has been used so let's take it b is equal to r into sy upon sx. The question is asking about the coefficient of determination but soon we'll find out the answer. Let's see. First keep the value of b that is 0 0.6. The value r, r which is not given keep it as it is. sy that is 3 standard deviation y and standard deviation x is 5. Now here 0.6 is equal to r 
get them divide you will get 0 0.6 therefore r is equal to 0 0.6 and the number will come down get them cut obviously answer will be 1 and here the, in the question ask about the coefficient of determination this is the co correlation coefficient so the square of this will be 1 again so here the value of coefficient determination is 1 next question number 7 if regression line of y on x is y cap is equal to 35 plus 2x and the covariance x y is 50 find the standard deviation of x now for such formula again you can check this is the one which will go out of this information now the regression line y cap is equal to 35 plus 2x that is the information of a plus bx so here we find out the value of b that is 2 and as in the question ask about the standard deviation x so first let's keep the formula to find out b that is covariance x and y upon s x square that is the variance but out of this only we will find out the standard deviation of x so here we found the value of b that is 2 covariance x y that is 50 and keep as x square as it is let's switch them as x square is equal to 50 and 2 will come down as a denominator and here we found the value of stand variance is 25 just remove the square root of 25 you will get a standard deviation x as 5 question number 8 for regression given in the question number 7 means the same regression line we are going to take if value of y is to be increased by 10 units how many units should be increased in the value of x so first let's take the regression line here we keep the information of regression line y on x from the above question that is y cap is equal to 35 plus 2x means a plus bx the value of b is 2 now the value whatever value of b will remain with the y means y will be 2 times of x so here we will find out y cap is equal to 2x the value of y will keep it as a 10 2x divide by 2 will be the value of x 2 ones are 2 fives are so therefore the value of x will be 5 hope you remember this is the one same which we have solved in the illustration as well moving to the question number 9 if x bar is 10 y bar is 25 sigma x minus 10 y minus 25 is 120 and sigma x minus 10 whole square will be 100 now find the value of a and b for the regression line y on x so first of all here we'll find out first we'll keep the formula y cap is equal to a plus bx and out of this information we'll first find out b as we already have x bar and y bar so here you can see that x minus x bar it should be and also the x bar value is 10 means ye aapka value hai sigma x minus x bar and y minus y bar and x minus x bar whole square this is what the formula is and if you remember to find out the b this is the one which we used to find out so let's take this formula to find out first b that is sigma x minus x bar y minus y bar sigma x minus x bar whole square the value of x sigma x minus x bar and y minus y bar is 120 and the value of sigma x minus x bar whole square that is 100 so here we got the answer 1.2 the next we need is a the formula of a is y bar minus b x bar the value of y bar which is given in the question is 25 minus b just now we found 1.2 and the x bar which is given in the question that is 10 so here the value will be minus 1.2 multiplied by 10 that is 12 and the answer will be 13 so here we got the information of b value of b as well as a now let's keep value in the formula this is what the regression line we found out of the information given in the question number 9 and also the value of a and b which has been asked in the question.
Moving to the next question number 10. If b y x is equal to 0 0.75, u is equal to 6 x minus 20 and b is equal to 2 y minus 15. Find the value of b v u. The same which I have already explained you in the illustration. This is what the formula you have to use. As in the question it is asking about b v u will be b y x multiply by c x upon c y. The value of BYX is already given 0 0.75 multiply CX. Now just to recall the same thing that is U X minus A upon CX. That is what we find out normally from out of the table for the value of U. And the information is also given that is 6X minus 20. So must be CX must be 1. Whenever the number is given at the top don't forget to get it divide. That is 1 upon 6. That is 0 0.16. That's what the value of Cx we found. That is just to show you the equation. So here we found 0 0.16. In the same way for to find out Cy. If you remember the formula of V. That is Y minus B upon Cy. And the information which is given in the question is Y minus 15. At the side 2. And the no nothing is written for Cy. So must be 1. So it have to take it like 1 upon 2 and if you divide it you will get the value of Cy is 0 0.5 which will be keep over here. Now 0 0.75 multiply divide this two here we found 0 0.33 and get them multiply you will get 0 0.249. Now the third digit is more than 5 so the answer will be 0 0.25. 4 bar jayega ek digit se aur ban jayega 5. So that's what the answer for the question number 10 and here we complete section C. See you in the next section D.